Okay, right now I'm going to show you guys how to remove these orange specks off of your vehicle. And you see, they're all over the place. And what, this orange, what these orange specks are is environmental fallout. And typically, they're on all cars, but they're easily shown, easily seen on white cars, which from rail dust, brake dust, all of the uh, fallout and environment that sticks and bonds to your car's paint. So first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the phone on the mount on the tripod, and but first we're gonna try to wash it off. So give me one second. Okay, first what I'm gonna use to wash is this vehicle and boat. This right here is good when you want to prep your car to do any type of um, waxing, any type of polish, this right here strips your car from all existing waxes. All existing, anything on your car is safe for all clear coats, vehicle, and boat, as you can see. It's concentrated. So what I like to do is I like to use maybe a half a bucket, a little bit more than a quarter, and uh, I'm gonna do a full exterior polish and wax on this car, but I wanna start back here just to show you guys how this environmental fallout you don't come off with a regular wash. See the orange specks, LJ? Yeah, I remember this from the other video. Yeah, you remember from the other video. So we're going to try to get them off. Let's clean it. Let's clean it. I thought you had a blue one. No, it's not a blue one. Oh. So. You got a blue one. Is it coming off? Dad, I see orange specks right there. See the orange specks there? Yeah. I don't see no purple. Because we haven't used them. We're just trying to wash it off with soap and water right now. You're trying to show them? Yep. Yeah, I thought I had to be in the video. Well, if you want to be in the video, you can be in the video. Oh. Well, I'm going to go get something I can stare on. Okay? Uh, yep. Sound like some. As you see, scrubbing and scrubbing. And I'm going to bring you in. Right. As you can see, I'm gonna bring you in. That I hope you guys can see right, the orange specks. Yeah, can you see it? You can. It's still there. That's because we need to spray. I hope you guys can see it. But they're all around in here, that all in to, through here. Set it on YouTube so they can All right in here, all down here. Yeah, we have to set it on YouTube. So, so they can see. to get that out, yeah, get you that need to out. use an iron remover. There's an iron remover. They sell this at uh, AutoZone now. Typically, you would have to order this type of stuff, but now you can sell it. Now you can buy it on AutoZone. It probably costs about 24 about $23, 24 dollars. I said hi. Watch out because it's going to scrub. Okay. So what this is, this chemical in here reacts to all the iron. When it reacts to it, it's going to turn all the orange specks the purple. purple. And then we'll be able to wash and rinse it off. So I'm, so I'm standing back. So be careful with this, with your, uh, I don't know what I was, uh, Get away from the smell. Okay, I'll get it way over here. Let's bring it. 
whole entire bag. Alright, that's great. So now we let the chemical do its job. Let the chemical react. Now we have to let the chemicals do its job. Oh, I brought, I got this in. Be careful with that with your kids, too. Because yeah. you don't want to smell it. It smells horrible, you two. So be careful. Because it smells bad. And I can see already. <laughs> oh, yeah, I see some purple. See? Over here. As you can see, the back of the truck, that's purple. Right around in here, it's starting to react. All this is about to start now, turning purple. Now, that's where I, I Yeah, point to the one you see. Don't, don't touch this. Just point to it, because the whole camera's on. It was right here, mm -hmm. that purple spot. So you saw that? Right there. And you look up here. Yeah, look up there. Yeah. There's a purple. All, that's re all that chemical is reacting to that iron. Yeah, all the iron is turning into purple. And usually it takes anywhere between one to three minutes. As you can see down in here, all of that. All of this and all of these. All of that. All in here. Oh, yeah, I see some purple right here. Mm -hmm. See the purple, you two? Right where I'm pointing. Right on here. Saw it. Oh. Two. Yeah, you're missing two. Two. Like I said, typically the back and behind or on the bottom lower panel where your wheels are is where you'll find majority of fallout. But typically, this is the one. This is the first stage of decontaminating the uh, the pet, the paint. So I would do the whole entire car, wash the car, and then I come back with a clay. The clay ball. That'll be my second part to my contamination, to my decontamination of the paint. You wanna, you wanna rid all the paint of all the bonded contaminations. You want, you want your paint. You want it, It's like your skin. You want it. You want it fresh. You want it open. So when you do apply your polish and you do apply your wax, you have a nice clean surface that the polish and wax can bond to, rid free from all dirt. All grime, everything. But as you can see, more of it's turning purple. I'm gonna spray a little bit more. LJ, come on this side because it's spraying out. Just leave the chair there. Just leave the chair there. And you come right here and let me spray. And then you can go back and sit down. Just give me a second. It's not gonna even be that long. That's all I'm gonna do. Just spray a little bit more. When I detail a car, I go through this whole bottle. Yeah, you can sit back down. Oh, I see the purple. Also, what I would do is, once I see all of this reacting, I'm going to open up the door, and I want to get all in between, all in there. Yo. Want to open up the door and this handle right there, I think. Now, I'm not ready to open the door yet. No, not yet. I want to wash it first. I want to see it conform to purple. You scoot it up a little closer. There we go. Yeah, right there. No. I'm just going to scoot a little more down. back, and I'm going to go back. Mm -hmm.
Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is go back and wash. Yeah, we want to wash the car. First, I'm gonna spray it off. Oh, it's water, so I have to stand back. Like I said, this is the first stage of decontaminating the paint. So I still see some. So I'm just going to spray a little bit more. Watch out. Right in this trouble area. We're going to open up this door. All in there, if you can see that, there you go. And I haven't even washed, I haven't even washed that yet. You see that, right? There you go.
step of decontaminating. After this step, wash the car. After that, get a, use a clay bar and, you know, rid all the rest of the contamination. That's why I said scoot back, son. Got good, maybe anywhere between 80 to 85 percent of that iron fallout, environmental fallout. After I clay the entire car, there won't be a speck on there. So, just want to bring you guys in. I can still see some. There's about one there, one there. You got a couple down in this area. Now, I'm going to put you on pause and I'm going to do a quick, quick, quick clay. Okay, real quick. Got a little quick clay bar, clay mitt. Editing. I might need your help. 
Why are you back there? LJ. Okay. Come tell me if you see an orange spot. You see an orange spot, I get you one. Every spot you see, I give you a McNugget. Where are they? Find the orange spot. How many spots did you find? Just one. You don't see no more? No. All the spots, all the orange spots gone. Yeah, you wiped them all off. Cool. Give me some. Good job. Good job, LJ. Maybe you made me go sit way back there. Peace out. Say peace out. He mad. He's sad. Ew! <laughs> He's sad. My son's sad because he ain't. He ain't getting no playtime. All right, we out.